Hi, in today's video, I will be showing you a few QuickBooks Online shortcuts, and I will also be sharing with you the whole entire list of shortcuts that are available in QuickBooks Online. So I wouldn't be going through all the shortcuts that they are, but I will definitely be showing you, sharing with you a few of them, and you will have that list, and you can go through the rest that are available. Hi, I'm Kimberly Elizabeth and I would like to welcome you or welcome you back to Bookkeeping Journey. Let's go into my computer screen now to see those shortcuts. So I am here in QuickBooks Online Sample Company and I will show you some of the shortcuts that you can use while you are in QuickBooks and at the end of this video I will, show, I will also show you the shortcut to get to the list of shortcuts. So first shortcut that I am going to show you today is the one for the invoice. And kindly note that if you are on a Mac computer, you press Control Options, or and if you are on a PC, you press Control Alt for each one. So Control Option always go before the letter that you're going to press for the shortcut. If you're on a Mac and if you're on a PC, Control Alt is what you press before the letter uh, on a PC. All right, I am on a PC. So therefore, I will press Control Alt I, and that's the letter I to get to pull up the invoice. And I and you see the invoice pulled up in front of me. If I was on a Mac, you will put Control Options. You will press Control Options I to pull up the invoice. Say so I fill this all out, and then I wanted to save and do a new one. I can press Control Alt. S, so invoice is saved right so the next one now you see it pulls up a new invoice so we are going to come out of this invoice so what I'm going to do to exit I'm going to do control all and then the letter X and then that shall close out and bring me back to the dashboard so let's say I want to write a check so to bring up the check we're going to do control all W and that should bring up the check and as you can see the check is, is here and let's say we filled in this information now we're going to save and close this so I'm going to do control alt D to save and close and the check has been saved and closed right so the next thing we're going to do is going to open up an estimate so you're going to do control all E and you see the estimate is open up and I'm going to close that out. So control all X to close that one out. And the next thing that I'm going to open up now is the receive payment. So I'm going to do control all R for receive payment. And you see that brings up that form. So I'm going to close it up, close that one out, control all X. To close that out and then we want to see the list of customers so we're going to do control alt c and you see it brings us bringing us into the list of customers um, and the final one that i'm going to show you of and if you have a check so let's say you created a check and you wanted to print it so we're going to do control alt w we're going to open back up that check so we're going to do something for squeaky clean car wash and we're going to write them a check for automobile and then now we're going to print this check so we're going to do control alt p and you see it check has been saved and then it brings us over to the print check screen and you could definitely print your check from in here so you can go through all the steps. Yes, I'm finished with the setup. And you can do print and preview. Let's put in the check number 102. Print and preview. And then you can print your check from here. The final thing that I'm going to show you where you can find this entire list of QuickBooks Online shortcuts, you press Control Alt and then the question mark sign everything that i said for control all you eat if you're on a mat you use control option all right so control all is for a pc and control option 
is for the Mac. All right. So that's it for this video today. And I will see you on the outside. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you got value from all those shortcuts that I showed you. And just make sure that you go into QuickBooks Online and pull up the shortcuts so that you can remember them and you can save them as well. And I want to ask you what shortcut that you saw in the video that you know is going to be extremely helpful to you because you use that function. Is that invoice? Is it a check? What is it? What is the function that are you know that you you always keep on forgetting where it was and having this shortcut is definitely going to help you. I look forward to hear you in the comment section of the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, press that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.